like we always talk about, we'll never get tired of hearing good or even great news. Uh, in fact, it's our mission to tell people about it. Uh, but in this case, with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, today was a, a day of great news. And with this, I want you to hold on to this, cherish it, hug it, squeeze it tight, because this will be one of the few times all throughout the remainder of this season that you'll ever hear a practice report like this uh, because it was said that practicing today was every everybody practice every single body practice except Travis Jones so everybody anybody who you thinking of anybody who you're not thinking of everybody the whole team except Travis Jones who still expected to be out for a couple more weeks everybody was there and that means unlike last year polar opposite of last year going into week one last year that means that the Ravens have a predominantly healthy team heading into the season. And I, I know all of us remember just how 2021 went. Uh, we, it was just week after, literally every single week, somebody was going down with injury. And that was before the season even started. That was before preseason even started. It was always somebody hurt. But going into a week one this year, the Ravens are starting off right. Now, John Harbaugh, he did shy away from it a little bit. He ain't want to really give too much credit or praise or whatnot to the way they, they've been doing stuff this year. Um, but I will. You don't want to do it, Harbaugh? I will. Hey, great job um, because this is a good start. This is a good start. They did talk about this offseason, how they were going to turn over every single stone or rock or whatever John Harbaugh said some months back. Um, and they apparently have done it, and they have not been rushing guys either. That has been the biggest thing. They haven't been rushing people. And, I mean, that, the perfect segue to somebody who definitely wasn't rushing to return back to the practice field after being activated off the pup list, and that is Ronnie Stanley. Because last week when Ronnie Stanley got activated off the pup, it was like, all right, let's go. Ronnie Stanley's back. But then practice rolled around. No sign of Ronnie Stanley. And it was like, all right, okay, cool. Yeah, it's the first day. All right, it's all good. That's fine. No worries. Okay, so he'll be back maybe tomorrow or something like that. They want to ease him in. Second day rolled around. No, no Ronnie Stanley. And at least these were to the, uh, the, the portions of practice that are open to the media. There was no Ronnie Stanley. Everybody else was showing up, but Ronnie Stanley was like, oh, no, okay, okay. No Ronnie Stanley. Okay, okay. So then another day and another no Ronnie Stanley. But then today... I guess Ronnie Stanley was like, you know what? Today's the day. I'm coming back. And Harbaugh was even asked about it uh, last week. He was like, hey, what's up with Ronnie Stanley? And he was like, oh, yeah, those guys, they got a plan in place for Ronnie Stanley. Da -da -da -da. He'll be back when he's ready to be back. And he's back. So welcome back, Ronnie Stanley. Um, now, as far, again, as far as expectations for Ronnie Stanley for week one, I, um, I really wouldn't expect him to play week one if he does great if he doesn't okay that's fine no worries well Ronnie Stanley Ravens need him for the long haul they need him for the long part of the season and really I mean they got a tough schedule Ravens have a very 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 tough schedule it is a fourth place schedule but it ain't no it ain't no cakewalk in my opinion they their game they got some tough games on that let on that list um, but with that being said, uh, again, Ronnie Stanley is so important uh, to this team, um, especially because the sort of quote unquote contingency plans that they put in place for Ronnie Stanley aren't Ronnie Stanley. Um, so we'll see what happens there again. I'm, I'm not expecting him to play week one. I'm more so expecting him for week two against the Dolphins. Um, the home opener, Ronnie Stanley coming back for the first time in forever. Hey, well, what a beautiful way to come back. But, if, again, if he plays this week against the Jets, cool, but I'm not expecting him to uh, at all. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Again, as long as they're easing him back in, because it's been a long time since Ronnie Stanley played some football, especially consistently. It's been a long time. The last time he was playing football, like, consistently, like, week after week, was back before that, the T.J. Watt injury. Before then. And what, what week was that? And I don't even remember what week that was in. Uh, but anyway, glad that he is officially, like, officially back. Like, because last week he was, he was officially back, but he hadn't practiced. But now he's practicing. Great job. Now, um, on another note, something that's kind of bittersweet. 
Uh, I remember when the Ravens this offseason, they signed a lot of undrafted rookie free agents. Not one of them ended up making the team. Um, and I remember me, I told y'all, I, I said Shamar Bridges was a lock to make the roster, especially after that first preseason game. But then the last two preseason, preseason games, he was quiet, wasn't really getting much action thrown his way. Then he got the injury and whatnot. And then when the Ravens were doing their whole roster thing, they had uh, put him on the, um, the wave injured list. So what that means was that um, he was going to he was being waived. So if nobody but he was being when you're waived, people have the opportunity to put in a claim for you. Um, but if nobody claimed him, then he would just go back to the Ravens and be on injury reserve out for the year. Um, but what the Ravens did today is they released Shamar Bridges with an injury settlement. So that's a good thing for him. For the Ravens, I guess it's, it's pretty neutral, but that's a great thing for him because what that means is once he gets healthy, he can sign with another team this year. He doesn't have to be out the whole year anymore. And that's how it is with, um, with anybody who's uh, on injury reserve, uh, who gets waived injured. That's how it is. Anybody who's on injury reserve like before the season starts. Say, for instance, um, who did they put on IR before the season started? I, I forgot who else they put on there, but... When somebody's season is over, um, before they make the initial 53, when they put them on IR, uh, for that person to be eligible to play this year, they have to be released. And they, they get released with an injury settlement. So then they have an opportunity, once they get healthy, they can play again. I'm not sure exactly what the time frame is, though. But anyway, so Shamar Bridges, I'm happy for him because hopefully uh, once, because I know he said he was having surgery like last week, but hopefully once everything is cleared up and he's good to go, then somebody could hopefully give him a shot. So his dream uh, of playing, continuing to play in the NFL, uh, it, it can keep on happening. Because uh, y'all know me, I was rooting for Shamar Bridges heavy and then found out that he was a Florida Raven too. I said, oh yeah, let, let's go baby. Because y'all know I'm biased with the Florida Ravens. But anyway, um, another thing, uh, Justin Houston. They, the Ravens had a presser today. Uh, that featured John Harbaugh, and I mean, he didn't really, he didn't really say much. I mean, the, the presser was just, I feel like it was just a presser just to have a presser today. There uh, wasn't really any new information there. Yeah, Harbaugh said that he wasn't aware of any new updates with the contract talks, even though you know Harbaugh, he is aware of everything that's going on with them contract talks, but I said, okay, cool, Harbaugh. We weren't expecting any answers anyway on that. We was expecting questions, but not any answers. Um... But uh, it featured John Harbaugh, featured uh, Morgan Moses, and it also featured Justin Houston, who is currently like one of two Ravens outside linebackers that's actually healthy. Because uh, David Ajabo, of course, he's on injury reserve, so he has to miss at least first four games. Tyus Bowser, he's on the pup list, so he has to miss at least the first four games. Um, so, yeah, so Ravens, uh, they, they don't have many options there. So Justin Houston and Dafe away, uh, they waved in, they waved uh, Dalen Hayes. Um, they they did a wave injury with him too. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty thin there. Um, but Justin Houston talked about. It. He said, "Hey, uh, if, if I got to be out there every single snap, every single down, so be it, so be it." Um, and then he also talked about. He said, "Hey, it, it, we we winning that Super Bowl this year." He said he was going to speak it into existence. Hey, okay, Justin Houston, I hope that you end up being right. I hope that come February, Ravens can win. We can all look back at this clip from the presser today on September September 5th, and we like, boy, that boy Justin Houston, he called it. He called it, and he got it right. Uh, but anyway, um, since the Ravens are so thin at outside linebacker, they brought in uh, Kyle Fackrell uh, for a tryout. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. I mean, it's expected that the Ravens are going to sign somebody who that ends up being. We don't know, but they're going to sign somebody and sign somebody probably rather, rather quickly. Uh, because again, the game is, it's right around the corner. Week one is like, we are six days away. Yeah. Cause today's Monday. We six days away from, the, from Ravens week one game. We're three days away from NFL Week 1 officially starting with the Rams and the Bills. That game should be really fun. I was watching that um, FSU versus LSU game last night. 
And that thing was crazy, man. It, it was slow. It was slow for the most part, for the majority. It was slow, slow pace, everything going in slow motion. Then all of a sudden, it just started picking up, and it got crazy. It was wild. Um, and I, I really uh, enjoy watching both of those quarterbacks play, though. I, I love watching both of them play um, because they, they, had the, uh, they had the arms, but then they had the mobility, too. And when stuff was breaking down, especially the one on LSU, I don't know any of their names, so y'all know I don't follow college football like that. But especially the one on LSU, like, that boy was moving. He was moving. Um, and then he had that clutch factor, too, with that, what, 99-yard touchdown drive that they got. Um, but anyway, that was, that was nice to see. Um, but that, that game was just, it was wild. But it gave me a nice reminder that NFL season is right around the corner, too. And I had a lot of fun watching that LSU versus FSU game. Um, but I will be so much more invested uh, when it's the Bills and the Rams playing on Thursday night. And then, of course, on Sunday, we'll be 20,000, 50 million more times invested when it's the Ravens playing, when they take on uh, the New York Jets at 1 o'clock. So we're gearing up for a fun week. Um, we got... Whew, I'm going to be working with a lot of people this week. So you will see some people on this channel. Uh, you will see us on other people's channels working with them. So this is a very busy week. It has, just thinking about it sometimes, it can be a little overwhelming. A little overwhelming. That's why you always got to make sure we take breaks, take breathers, take time off, take time away and all that. Um, but it, it should be a lot of fun. So y'all look out for that. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, yeah. And that's it. I will see y'all tomorrow. We out.